crispy air fried shrimp and pickle sauce tacos. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, today with Chef Pachi we're gonna make some amazing, crispy and delicious breaded shrimp in the air fryer. So we're first cutting up some seasonings so that our shrimp tastes beautifully delicious. We have some garlic, green onion, and some herbs. I'm using cilantro, and you can use any herb you want. You can use dill, since we're gonna do a dill pickled sauce, and it'll be great. This is gonna allow your shrimp to keep perfectly, be seasoned, and never get your refrigerator smelling like seafood. So that's a hack. When we have our shrimp ready, we can actually air fry them in batches as people come along or all together. So we're gonna add some corn flour, and this is masa corn flour, the one we use to make arepas and tortillas, and it is pre-cooked. Mix it like this in a bowl, or mix them in a bag, and place them in the air fryer at 400 degrees for seven minutes, that's it. If you're using an air fryer like mine, halfway through, flip your sheet pans, and that way they'll both be perfectly golden and crispy. I'm only having one because in the bottom, I'm adding my tortilla so that it gets crispy too. Now with our sauce, which is also a sauce that's made with yogurt. So you have so much protein in this sauce that you can eat all the sauce you want. You actually don't have to have so many shrimp per person because you're already having a lot of that protein from your sauce. Our dill pickle sauce is our new tartar sauce. It's the modern version, Chef Pachi's version, of a tartar sauce that is easier to make, super digestible, and delicious. So we add our pickles to our yogurt. We add some fresh dill, and I'm gonna get you the link of how to dry your fresh dill in the fridge, and it works perfectly. Or you can also freeze it. Dill is an amazing herb. You will never have it go bad if you watch these videos or just listen. Leave it in the fridge open with no plastic around it and it's gonna dry on its own as you use it. This recipe has a lot of pepper and some salt to balance out the sweetness of the pickles. Same thing with the lime juice. And optional is some hot sauce. You can add some hot sauce to it and love it. Check it out, it's beautiful. We don't add papers to the sauce, but you could. If you want to add a teaspoon of minced capers, wash them first so you can remove a lot of that salty water that they are pickled in. Now check out how we serve them with boiled potatoes. You can do it with baked potatoes, you can do it with barbecued potatoes, and eat as much as you want. With juca or cassava chips, they're delicious. Same with plantain or any kind of vegetable chip. They go fantastically well. If you have a nice piece of bread toast and you want just to add some delicious sauce on top of it, spread it and enjoy it. Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Chef Pachi!